game begin. Hello everybody, my name is Lizned and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing The Outer Worlds. I have never played this game before. I didn't even know this game really existed until I recently upgraded my PC and they said, here's a free game. So I was like, all right, cool. So this is the first time loading up the game. Uh, you're going to get my raw reactions. Going to try and keep this as a cinematic gameplay so that you guys can enjoy the the cinematic videos and thing like that. So I'll try not to talk as much as I can, but you're going to be getting my raw uh, interactions, my wall, raw uh, reactions. That's the word I'm looking for. Raw reactions to the game as I play it. Okay. Also, please excuse my raspy voice. I just recently, I'm still under the weather from a cold, so it sounds like I'm losing my voice, but to remind for a play, first play session, normal mode enemies have standard health and damage, this mode is for players who are looking for an extra challenge, hard mode enemies have more health and do more damage, super holy crap, supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players, supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game, if you reduce the difficulty below supernova, you cannot re-enable it, enemies have more health and deal more damage, you must eat, drink, and sleep to survive, Companions can die permanently. Oh, crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest. Weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship. You can only sleep inside your ship. And you can only manually save while inside your ship. And autosave are limited. Wow, okay, so Supernova Mode is the hardest difficulty, can only be selected at the start of the game, and is recommended for advanced players. Oh, I don't know, should I do it? Should I do it? Uh, I feel like it would be really interesting to play it that way, just to see what it's like. So, Super Mode, if you reduce the difficulty below Supernova, you cannot re enable it. I'm gonna go to Normal. This is my first time playing the game, so I just want to be able to get through it. So I'm going to do normal. Oh, what are these? Conversation subtitles. Select preferred for my conversation subtitles. All oh, display conversation subtitles when NPC talks. Minimal. Yes, I want them on. Show bark subtitles. If disabled subtitles will not be shown for words spoken outside of conversations. Yeah, let's keep that off. All right, here we go. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. This looks like it might be very Fallout type game and art style. Phineas Vernon Wells. What you doing? Oh, some of you got that joke. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh, 
Oh, character creation. Okay. Points remaining. Charm. Good. Direct of five points. Always want intelligence, perception. Do good. Another one there, another one there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Next. Alright, so I can assign two leadership to the day. Let's do. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Yeah, the, I'm doing that one first because I feel like melee weapons are going to be my first weapons. So I want to be able to have some sort of... I'll do Things stealth tend too. to vanish off tables whenever you're around. I want to be able to have... Do I want this though? Sneak. Let's do dialogue. You could make a vicar doubt the law. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Aptitude. Conveyor Operations Specialist. Factory Worker. Conveyor Operator. Farmer. Dirt. <laughs> Food. Additive Tester. Toss Ball Team Mascot. That sounds like an insult. You're such a Toss Ball Team Mascot. Oh, wait, okay, I see. I, d I wasn't even looking at the aptitude bonuses. Medical, inspiration, c corrosion, damage received, food, vectoration, enray, dodge. What was that food effect? Food additive tester. So, wait, block, drink, determination. So I want to choose one that I think is going to help me the most near the beginning. Medical t technician, junior, medical. Maybe medical. you can do something about this uh, lump Appearance. in my neck. Female, male. We'll do male. Face. Oh, my. That's. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, let's do randomize. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no 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 no! <laughs> oh oh wow! <laughs> Whoever chose these random ones? Oh oh oh! Why do you have a mustache? <laughs> oh no! All right. Uh. Let's see default. Appearance changes. You made with us. Okay. Oh thank heavens! I'm back to a normal human being. Okay. See the size of the nose on her? Good night. Where's one I saw just a moment ago that I liked? This one. I like this one. Pasty. Yeah. My color. Let's look for blue. I like blues. Blue eyes. Is there a different shade of blue? Ooh, there is. Okay, brow forward. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to skip ahead in time because this is going to take forever for for this, and uh, you're. 
I'm just gonna skip ahead of time. You guys will see the final product momentarily. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And we're back. All right, let's. So this is my created character. That's what he looks like. Yes, it is a he. Don't let looks deceive you, but it is indeed a he. All right, so next. Name. What should your name be? Um. Uh, here we go. Random name generator. Name generator. Let's see. Right, character name. Uh, I, I don't want all this. Just. Uh, Kitty Peck Lottie Novel and uh, Daniel Daniel Base, that's what we're going for. Dan Daniel Base. Yeah. Sounds like a a pretty hardcore name if you ask me okay Daniel base except oh come on I just want to play the game oh wait this is a summary just kidding <laughs> yeah Daniel base let's go next looks to be your lucky day my friend <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Status structural integrity down twenty five per cent. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Same, dude. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long <laughs> leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised oh. to keep you from dying so horrifically. Oh, oh great. All, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is Why? inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Every 20 points in a skill. Wait, I didn't have time to read that. Can you hear me? Is this thing coming? working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be smuggler your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. 
Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all colonists are counting on you. Yeah, this definitely has a Fallout and Bioshock type of feel. For sure. Okay. But I'm liking it so far. This is it's nice. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that uh -huh. idiot. I told <laughs> well, him to plant uh, the dead. and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Dang, yep, he is he's Hawthorne very dead. Mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Gravity. Nasty way to go. Hmm. Whee. Who's that? Come here. Is that like motion blur or something? Okay, we're gonna need to look at these settings. I think that's what I wanted. Motion blur. Zero. I don't want any motion blur. Uh, yeah, apply. Keep. Ah, oh, much better. Okay. Alright, so there's no sliding. Just totally expecting a slide underneath that. So shift is the toggle. Legolas! Get it? Because zero legs. I was thinking you use tall grass. Tall grass rocks are other cover. Ooh. Sneaky snake. <laughs> okay. I guess still, something still feels off. Can I, like, change my field of view? That's what my field of view is. Alright. One. Ten. Why? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. I can actually see stuff. <coughs> it doesn't look friendly. I'm just going to leave you guys. You have sharp teeth. Is there fall damage? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Alright, so there's fall damage. Just take a hit of my bong. Heal me right up. Mm hmm. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds what? of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Spacer's Choice. Uh, you're hiding in a cave. You blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. 
Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt them down for you, or... You're an idiot! Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. I'm gonna persuade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you look like you know your way around a gun. Thanks, Got man. spare ammo. Not oh, dude. Side. Here, Better. you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. <laughs> all Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Where am I? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Uh. Company policy. Yeah, don't fraternize with Cleo workers. Ooh, I've got. Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Also, let's change these controls. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> so I don't button layout. I don't want these to be. No, I'm not using a controller. Excuse me. Oh. Gameplay. UI. Select controls. The key bindings. Thank you. So I can't make it a toggle or non-toggle? Really? Okay. Well, I guess I just have to deal with it then. That's fine. Whatever. Sure. Surely I can. Okay. If, unless I'm missing something, maybe you guys know something that I don't. But if there's a way to toggle this, comment down below. And I will uh, change that immediately because I'd rather talk with my crouch and sprint. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Processing. Bleh, processing. Pressing the tactical time dilation TDT button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Sandy still drains your TDT meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drains it faster. The TDT meter refreshes slowly over time. Q is tactical, tactical time dilation. Cool. Okay. These are hacking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break up computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Thank you. Can I... So I can't unlock it at all. Okay. Oh wait, 
that's a mag pick. Oh, okay. So I need one more mag pick. Yes, I'll take all that. I'll take all that. Is there another mag pick sitting around here? Give me, that. Give me that. I don't know if I can eat all these or not, but I'm just taking it just because. My inventory. Weapon management to you know weapon safety. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them up to the slots on the top screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. Ooh. All right. Well, which, which century saber? Level one. 73, 36 damage. 36 damage. Same thing. Okay. I'll drag that up. Or mag lock thing, but I don't have it. that <laughs> okay give me that thank you wait whose arm is that is that his arm did I cut his arm off that's kind of gross people just leaving their arms all about Mercer. They friend I think they're friendly. What in the blazes? Where'd you come from? Your mom? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts and no, worse landing really? violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? <laughs> Still a moron. <laughs> I'm hoping you're a little brighter. I am. I'm a superior <laughs> officer. Stands to reason, don't it? <laughs> Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with the swift, cost efficient fury that's made Spacer's choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Just, you know. Need a couple of winks <clears throat> to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. To give a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Don't worry, you sit tight. I can handle it. Coward! I'll do it myself. Uh, which one is that to do? Uh, da, 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 da. do spacious choice cards? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, ah. you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Wait, what have I done? Oh, we're just going in. There was just three of them? You guys were scared of three of them? Ooh, what is this? I don't know. I don't take it though. I built minor gear. I don't know that I want that. What all do I have now? 
Mission 97%, 100%, 100%. Cool. All right. Knock, knock. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. This vessel contains no valuable plunder. Back away from the navigation console, intruder. Bite me. Wherever you are. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada. The autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, Three, two, Ooh, I'm scared. One. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. Yes. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am oh. incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, I kind of smushed him, so shows me where I landed. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry, your captain's red smear under my escape. I understand. <laughs> I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> I get it. You need to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Okay, but I'm not. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain <laughs> Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. <laughs> yes. I walked outside the ship and I had a complete, like, life-changing experience. <laughs> Great. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Oh my our god. Main drive suffered a critical power failure <laughs> and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. <laughs> uh, I doubt I'll be able to find a part like through it. What is engineering five? Uh, the settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies yes. you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a wow. power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> yes, I will do my best. Yay! Level two! Okay, where am I going now? I need to find... Congratulations, you've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Continue. Cool. All right. Well, this is the beginning. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to search around the rest of the ship. All right. Uh, but I'm going to stop this here for the time being. If and, your equipment uh, is in need of repair or modification... The Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Thank you. As I was saying, I'm going to end this part here. This is part one.
of the Outer Worlds. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it and got a laugh like I have. I'm looking forward very much to looking to the uh, words. Ah, okay, sorry. Thank you so much for watching. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video.